Hey everyone, it's Dr. Clark on The Place for Answers. Today I want to tell you about a fantastic study that came out of uh, Vienna, Austria last year. And basically what it says is that uh, omega-3 fatty acids prevent the progression to psychotic disorders. I kind of give you the, the, the summary of the study. Uh, what they did is they took um, about 100 different people in a hospital that were at ultra high risk uh, for psych psychotic uh, disorder. And what they did is they had a placebo group and a treatment group. And the placebo group uh, of course didn't receive anything. The treatment group received 1.2 grams per day of omega-3 fatty acids for 12 weeks. And then they stopped and monitored both groups of people for another 40 weeks. So basically at the end of the year they looked and they said how many people out of each one of these groups transitioned into actual psychotic disorders. And I have the statistics right here. In the treatment group, two out of 41 people transitioned into the psychotic disorder. In the placebo group that got no omega-3 fatty acids at all, 11 out of 40. So when you do the statistical analysis, what they found is the difference between the two groups in their you know, risk to progression was 22%, and that is statistically significant. They also found, just unrelated to the transition to the psychotic disorder, is that the omega-3 fatty acids improved what they call positive symptoms and negative symptoms as well as overall functioning. And the conclusion of the study is that, hey, you know what, these are safe. This could be an important, efficacious way of preventing the transition to psychotic disorder in people at an ultra high risk. And I can't applaud these people more. Now, it's surprising, actually it shouldn't be too surprising. Now, we don't see a lot of those studies happening here in America. There's a few here and there, but a lot of these are happening in Europe. And it's certainly not that everything's better in Europe. It's just that uh, they're willing to do those trials and uh, I guess we're not. But the takeaway is, is that omega-3 fatty acids have a lot of important functions. Um, number one, they make receptors work. So for example, if this is a uh, receptor for serotonin, let's say, what omega-3 fatty acids do is they make those receptors fluid and they basically make it possible for them to do their job, you know, receiving signals. The other thing that fatty acids do is they're a component of every cell in your body. You know, every cell has got a, a membrane and that membrane is made up of omega-3 fatty acids. So if you don't have enough omega-3 fatty acids, then these membranes don't function correctly. You know, molecules don't traffic inside and outside of the, the cell correctly. And that can really present as a lot of different things. It doesn't just present as a psychiatric problem. Now, the, the third thing to talk about fatty acids is that, you know, the brain is made up of a lot of fatty acids. I mean, about, any, depending on who you ask, about 70 to 80 percent of the brain is nothing but fat. And this study is really something that we've known for a long time, is that People that have psychiatric disorders or, you know, uh, neurological disorders, just as in general, a lot of these people can benefit from omega-3 fatty acid supplementation. And, and why is that? Well, a fourth reason I didn't even tell you about is that omega-3 fats are anti-inflammatory. So we don't really know which of those mechanisms is what caused these people to not transition to psychotic disorder like the placebo group, but we didn't know that it happened. And we do know that it's something that I think pretty much all physicians should be counseling their patients on. So if you've got a loved one that's having, a, not necessarily a psychotic disorder, but someone that has a bipolar condition or Alzheimer's, uh, you should be really thinking about omega-3 fatty acids. Now, please don't just go medicate yourself or supplement yourself. I am a real big stickler on making sure you get a full evaluation from someone who's trained in a, a functional model. Now, for example, functional neurology is one of my specialties. And what functional neurology is, is a, a way of looking at the nervous system of the brain of someone and finding ways to change it for the better without using drugs or without using surgery. And I would hope that's what someone uh, would go do, is find someone who's looking at that. Because frankly, if you go see probably 90% of your garden variety neurologists or general practitioners, they're just not going to know about this study because unfortunately a lot of them don't read. Uh, they only read what the pharmaceutical company gives them to read about the products that the pharmaceutical company is making. Now, what I just told you about, you know, there's no, uh, there's no pharmaceutical interest in that. It's a natural product, so they can't patent it, which is why there's not a lot of interest in doing that. So anyway, the takeaway point is omega-3 fats are safe, especially in those type of dosages, 1.2 grams a day. And it was just for 12 weeks, I might add. Uh, for 40 weeks, they didn't do anything else, so it has a long-lasting effect. So once again, you know, nature has given us what we need, and all we have to do is kind of get out of the way and start using it.